My name is James Piazza, and the accident was uh, seven years ago. We were just all talking and playing with the radio, turning it up, just cruising. So I could play basketball pretty good, um, baseball pretty good. I played football in high school. Both of the guys in the truck, we were all football players. We knew the driver wasn't really paying attention a little bit before the accident because I remember when we came up to this hill right here, right as we topped this hill, a tire got off the road just a little bit and we all kind of jumped. And here's the scene of the accident right here. It's uh, 35 miles an hour. He was going about 55 and right about right here is where he started off the road and then it fishtailed and began to flip right there. On one of the rolls, I was thrown out of the passenger window and my elbow went out the window first. Then my whole body went out. My legs kind of caught on the window and I was kind of catapulted. They estimate that I was thrown about 60 feet from the truck. My face was just kind of in the dirt. My main thought was roll me over, roll me over, turn me over. I just thought I was about to die. When I arrived at the hospital, both of my lungs had filled with fluid, and uh, I stopped breathing, and it, I basically died. If I had had my seatbelt on, I wouldn't have been ejected from the car. One of my greatest fears was that everyone would see me differently now that I was in a wheelchair. Now, seven years after the accident, I have feeling um, down to my waist, pretty much complete feeling, but my legs feel numb. I can't feel hot and cold on my legs. A nurse comes every morning to help me get up, um, to use the bathroom, to take a shower, and to get dressed and get ready for the day. I usually uh, try to stand up uh, three times a week for about an hour. I have a standing frame. It's a hydraulic pump. The chair pushes my butt and stands me up straight. The driver had a really tough time after the accident. He had a lot of emotional problems, and he still does today, I think. I was never bitter about the accident. I always looked at it as a challenge. I only drove for about eight months before my accident, but I remember um, when I was driving one time, um, one of my friends put his seatbelt on. And when he put his seatbelt on, I looked over and I said, what, you don't trust me? And uh, looking back on that, I thought, you know, that's a pretty stupid statement. 